The second round of the ISAF World Cup landed in Melbourne, Australia. This is a tour where 2016 Olympic hopefuls are competing for the ISAF World Cup crown and to prove that they'll be flying to Rio in two years' time. Darren Bundock is an America's Cup and multi-hull Olympic sailor. Silver in Sydney and Qingdao. It's no surprise that the allure of Olympic sailing sees him back in action in the NACRA 17. It's a, it's a new fleet. Um, everyone else got their boats around March last year, so they've been training away. Um, we've been on the boat for about two weeks now, so we're pl really pleased that we're you know, not that far off the pace, that we're, we're matching it with the, the front runners here. After today, we've, um, our results have jumped us up to first place. Um, the Kiwis were leading at the beginning of the day, but they didn't have such a great day. Um, so we're stuck up into the lead and happy with that. Bundock sails with London 2012 silver medalist Nina Curtis and their experience at the top level showed as they handled fierce conditions to take the top spot. The boats are so exciting, I'm loving every second, you know. This is my first fleet racing um, World Cup win, so it feels pretty good. I'm so excited now to go into the rest of the year. It's a good place to start for us, I think. Nathan Outeridge is also back on the Olympic scene, hot from the America's Cup. And while he's been sailing with Swedish challenger Artemis Racing, the Australian 49er camp have been putting in the hours. I think Will Phillips has been doing really well, consistent. I think he's had three seconds, so he's uh, obviously sailing really well. And um, I think Dave Gilmore from Perth and Sam Phillips, are, you know, they won one of the other races, so they're the two guys that are pushing us a lot today. But. Uh, you know, the difference between first and eighth around the first mark is less than 20 seconds, so uh, no, it's, it's tight racing and it's, it's good. But as the series came to a conclusion, they'd sailed themselves into a certain gold medal position. You know, for us this is all just training, getting ready for Rio, and um, you know, I doubt the conditions will be like that in Rio. It's pretty windy here and it's not meant to be there, but uh, you know, you never know what you're going to get, so every day is, you know, a day forward towards the Olympics. Nathan's sister, Hayley Outridge, with crew Ella Clark, led the 49er FX fleet. But the podium spot was still wide open before the medal race, with London 2012 match race silver medalist Olivia Price and Eliza Solly right behind in second. Price and Solly handled the big breeze in style and a second in the medal race was enough to overtake and claim gold. Yeah, it's really good to win a World Cup and then also to win it on home soil. Um, it's, it's really, yeah, it's quite special. The RSX windsurfing was dominated by the Chinese sailing team. The gold medal spots had been decided before the medal races. China's national games champion, Manjia Zheng, won nine from 13 starts in the women's RSX. In the men's fleet, it was the same deal. Chuan Kun Shi was clear ahead, and a third in the medal race was more than enough to claim gold. Australian and ISAF World Sailor of the Year nominee Matthew Belcher, now teamed with Will Ryan, were once again up against Croatians Simi Fantella and Igor Marenic. It was a who beats who in the medal race, with the Aussies coming through. Will's sisters Jamie and Sasha won this event last year in the women's 470, but fell victim to the form of Shasha Chen and Yang Gao of China. We knew it was going to be close going in, it was going to be tight racing, we were very close on points with the other girls. Um, so yeah, the pressure was really on for us, but it's our conditions today, so we're in a good groove I think, and yeah, we managed to come away with the points that we needed. Tom Burton is the top ranked laser sailor in the world. A tenth at the Laser Worlds in Oman was a result he wanted to bounce back from. He dominated the fleet, taking the regatta from Thomas Saunders by 27 points. Yeah, so it's been a good week for me, uh, definitely coming off the Worlds. I was a little bit disappointed with my result, so uh, the goal was obviously to get back on the, on the top of the podium, and that was a good week, uh, pretty consistent. In the laser radial, it was a repeat of the last World Cup event. 
Tatiana Drozdovskaya was determined not to have a repeat of the medal race in Qingdao, where she finished second to Chinese athlete Dong Zhuang Zhang. But by the medal race, a 15-point lead handed her the gold medal. The men's heavyweight Finn came down to the last run in the medal race. Sweden's Bjorn Allensson nearly lost it when Australian Oliver Tweddle tried to incur a penalty right on the finish line. Allensson manoeuvred clear for gold. Yes! Win it! The ISAF World Cup moves to Miami next, where American talent will show its strength in a bid to take the title on home waters.